Okay, then now we're going to put in the code that we need for the buttons. So if we go back into Visual Basic, and I'm going to look at the register one first. So we're going to double click on register. And I actually forgot to put in a button here. So I'll add in the command button. So CMD, register, and I'm also going to put in the caption as register. So if you double click on the button now, it will go into that code. So we can start typing out the code that we need to be able to get this to work properly. So this is going to be quite long. So we start off with dim reg USR as string and dim reg password pwd as a string so that it can be read by the program and we're just going to set for reg usr is it going to be equal to form register dot txt the text box username and our reg pwd is going to be equal to the information in the form register oops notice I've made a spelling error there dot txt password alright so then uh, we're going to reference these worksheets that we just um, looked at then so worksheet and we call it users I think if it's lowercase users dot range and we're going to put that into A2 it's going to be the second row uh, if I show you so it's going to be putting into users which is capital U and it's going to be putting our username into A2 So range A2, we want the value put in there, which is going to be equal to reg user. Similar thing for the password, but it's going to be in B2, and it's going to be reg PWD. And then again, I'll explain why we're doing this in a second, but we're going to put the username again back into into C2 so once we've um, registered we want to go to and click on the register button we want to go to the users page so we're going to select the users page we want to insert some rows and we're going to paste in those values so if you just copy the code I've put down here And do make sure you've got your uh, spellings correct, otherwise it's going to cause you problems. And then once you've done that, and we've copied that information into users page, so we're going to copy in the username and password that they've put in. Then we want to go back to our home sheet. So, do we call it home? Let's just double check. Yep. So, we're going to go back to our home page. So, we need to select that. And we're going to have a little message box pop up which tells user that their 
registration is complete. Once they've done that, we don't want them to have to click the Xbox again, so we're just going to unload the form. This is called FRM register. So if we close it down now, and I go back to my home screen, we can now test this. 